Hey friends, Daniel should be coming by this morning, and I'm glad he is because I suspect he's the one that left this mess of mud on the bed. I've been wanting to ask him about that. So, speaking of Daniel, there he is now. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi, friends. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. I was wondering... Do you happen to be the one who left this mess of mud on the bed when you were in here last night reading before bedtime? Oh, yeah. I did that. No big deal. No big deal? Well, yes, it is a big deal. What were you doing with all of this mud on the bed? And what do you mean no big deal? Whoa, your cheeks got red. And your face looks angry. Are you mad? Yeah, you better believe I'm mad. We try to keep our beds clean and tidy. And mud belongs outdoors. Then you have the nerve to say it's no big deal? Oh, I'm feeling so angry about it. I really need to calm down. When I feel... So angry I could stampede, I slow down, focus, and breathe, then I count slowly to three. One, two, three. Okay, I feel calmer now. Good job, Miss Kayla. Thanks, Daniel. Now, what were you doing with mud on the bed? I wanted to have a mud pit. Oh, your school has an indoor mud pit, right? Right. And you have been kept away from your school for a little while, haven't you? Yes, and I miss it. And I miss my friends, too. I wanted my friend Diana Tigress to see me in a bed of mud. I understand. And I can see that you're trying to find a way to deal with the disappointment that you must be feeling. I am. I really want to make something fun happen. And I really want to show my friends. I totally get it. You're trying to do the right thing. Maybe we can work on this together, though. Mud just doesn't belong in our house. How can you have a mud pit without mud? That makes me feel so angry. Daniel, what? Do you remember our song? Uh, when I feel so angry like a stampede, I slow down, focus, and breathe. Then I count slowly to three. friends. One, two, three. Oh, okay. I feel calm now. Nice job, Daniel. And friends. Thank you. I want to make a pit of mud. It is a good idea. But how can you do it in a way that doesn't create a problem for us later? I want you to put your thinking cap on. I know you can come up with a way to do this that doesn't involve putting mud on the bed. Hmm. Let me see. Friends, let's put our heads together and think. Does anyone have an idea? Did I hear 
hear someone say, do it outside? Woo! That's a great idea! Hey, maybe I can use the little pool we fill up sometimes with water to splash around in. Oh yeah, that's a super solution, Daniel. I think that would really work. Do you have any ideas about how you can share what you've done with your friends once you've finished? Well, I've been sending my friend Diana Tigress a lot of pictures lately, but I'd like her to see me splash into the mud. Friends, do you have any ideas about how I can show Diana my mud splash? Did someone say take a video? Oh, that would really work. Oh, would you take a video of me splashing in the mud and share it with Diana Tigress? Of course I would. I would love to. I can see how excited you are, Daniel. And I'm so pleased to see that you're working to make the best of things when you feel disappointed. You must feel very proud. Uh-huh. I do. Do you want to say thank you to your friends for helping you work through the challenges you were facing here? Uh-huh. I do. Thank you so much for I love you all. I'm going to go get started on my outdoor mud pit right now. Oh, I can't wait to see you all again. Bye. Bye, Daniel. Bye. See you soon. All right, friends, you heard it here. Daniel was able to deal with his anger by taking a deep breath, letting it out, singing his song, counting to three until he could calm down, and he was able to deal with his disappointment by making the best of his situation. Daniel was able to respond to his feelings in ways that made himself feel better. Wasn't he so clever? And I believe that you are too. See you next time.